Hi there, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create animated search bar using HTML and CSS. So this is how it's going to look like, and then you can start typing in it, and this is actually animated. Once you move your cursor, it's going to move back to its original state, and then once you move your cursor there, it's actually going to give you a long search bar which you can start typing in. So we're going to do this in this video tutorial. Remember to subscribe today. So first time visit my channel, and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial. So without much ado, let's jump right into action. So I'm going to open this in my favorite code editor. That is the VSE code editor. And what I'm going to do is that I have my main HTML file, and then I have the CSS file over here. So I'm going to create everything from scratch. So I'll go down here. I have everything on my desktop. So I'm going to use the same folder. But what I'll do is that I'm going to create a separate file here. So let's go ahead and click on and create a new file. So let me just call it search. So remember the initial one is search bar. So this is going to be search.html. Okay, so this is an empty file. And then we'll create a different CSS. We are not going to use this to create a different CSS. So I'll go ahead and click here. And let's say let me just call it star star one dot css so these are two different things now now in order to get this icon i'm going to use a font awesome so i went to the font awesome site in order to grab their kits i grabbed this code and i embedded it in my code in order to get the icon i used right here for my search bar Okay, so you have to equally do that. Go to font awesome and get and grab this code. If you look at my final design over here, I have this code embedded in the header of this particular code. Okay, and I also embedded the CSS. So now this is the new one we're going to work with. So in order to do this, we'll go ahead and generate our HTML template. So this is what we're going to do. And then over here, I'm just actually going to type the title of this project. So let me just call it search bar okay so that's what we're going to do and i want to create a div class for this particular project so what i'm going to do is that i'll create a div class I'll, so what i'm going to do is i'll create a div class and i'll actually give this a name so what class am i going to use let me just call this class search okay so that's what i'm going to do and then within this search i'm going to put in my inputs okay my input here so i'm going to say input and then every input is going to have a type and this i'm going to call it a search and i want to put in a placeholder okay placeholder and that placeholder i'll just call it search say search something okay so let me just do a search something in order to differentiate it from what we have initially now let me just save this let's now open this in the browser remember the name of this is search so everything is within this folder so now i come here this is the one we are working with but at the moment we only have this search bar we're going to format this with css and it'll get everything well aligned okay we don't have the icon just as i have within my final design over here so let's see how to place this icon okay this icon is actually going to be a link so what we have to do is that we have to come here and then use the h reference we are actually going to add a link over here because we are not going to link it to anything at the moment i'm going to use the hash key here and then within this link i'm going to use the icon I'm going to embed the icon here and then in this i'm going to give this icon a class so i'm going to give this icon a class and this is going to be a ds and fa the search okay so if you're not familiar with search font awesome you can easily go out to the site and learn about the icon so let me just save this at the moment i'll save this and so after adding this, this is not going to work until I embed the code within my header. So I have to go back to the font awesome and then copy this code, copy this code, and then place it within my header. So I have to link this within my header. So I place this here. Go down also. I have to also link my CSS. So I have to link my CSS as well. And my CSS, remember, is star one. It's not a normal star. So it's going to be star one. So it's going to start one. So this is the one I'm using. And I'll save this. And then this time around, when I go back, I should be seeing my search icon. So now you can now see the search icon 
spin up over here now let's use css and then start formatting this and then we can get everything well aligned okay so let's move ahead and see how to go about this now first now we have the css already linked within this header so you can go to the star one and then start formatting now we select everything as a browser and then format it so i'm going to set the margin to zero margin i'm going to set it to zero and i'm also going to set the padding towards zero in order to reset my browser okay so you will not see anything about this for now but as time we progress it you're going to see that now we're going to target our body first and then target the body and i'm going to say a vertical height of this body is going to be 100 percent yeah, it's going to be 100 percent and i'm going to display this as flex okay i'll be doing more video of flex boxes very soon so stay tuned like subscribe for more of my video so once we have display flex we also want to justify our content center so we're going to use just satisfy content center and we also have to include a line a line item we're also going to say what center then finally i want to give a background color for my search box so i'll say background color but now i'm going to use aqua here so i'm going to select aqua you can use the heads that there's more value or the rgb value so let's save this and see what we've done so far and when i come down here and i reload this so you can see we have everything move well to the center because we are using the flex boxes and we set up everything we justify everything center align item center you can see we have everything well aligned remember the place where i search something so now let's go ahead and then i get our search icon and format it now when i come down here remember we we created a class called search so now that's what we're going to target and it's a class so in order to target a class we're going to use dot search so we're going to use dot search and then we'll apply some and then we'll apply some few formatings to this so we're going to set the height of our search bar to around 35 pixels and we also want to set display this one as flex so we call it display this as flex and then we want to, i'm going to leave the that option and i'm rather going to add a padding to this so i'm say i'm going to say padding top bottom 10 pixels left right 15 pixels okay so we just add some space around this let's see go back and then reload this okay so we added some padding around this now let's progress to the next stage now we're also going to add a background color to this and i want you to make i want to give a background color white to our search bar so i'm going to use the heads that there's more value that's going to be ff if you decide to go with three letters and then i'm also going to give a radius of 25 let me say border radius 25 pesos so that's what i'm going to do and finally i'm going to also align item center here align item center okay so this is our flex boss i'll do more video flex bosses later on so stay tuned for that so now let's go ahead and then reload this and you can see what is happening at the moment everything is progressing now we'll add some few formatting to this if you want to add a shadow to this you can do that i'm going to ignore the shadow for now we can add a box shadow to this and now let's target a search icon over here once we move our pesta let's sign the width we want to so we are going to apply some hold by effect to this so now we come down here and what we're going to say is that i get a search over here and then it's going to be the hover effect we add some hover effect to this and then we target the input and then with this input what we're going to do is that anytime we move our cursor to that it should change toward around 450 pixels so it's going to enlarge that okay so now i'll save this and then go ahead and then what reload this okay so if i move my case i can see it's going to expand this so that is amazing everything is taking shape at the moment like subscribe for more of my video my tech video coding video and then a lot coming up later in this year and next year as so. well so now we've already done that now we're going to go to the search bar input and then do some format we're going to clear this border and then we have everything well formatted okay so we'll go ahead and then now we are only going to target the search bar and then what we're going to target the input target the input i'm going to use records over here first we're going to set the weight of this to zero because we want to change this back to a zero we don't want to get any weight for this at the moment try to go back to it smaller state so you see what we have move your pencil and to go 
I still have this borders around there, so we have to go ahead and clear the border from there. So to do that, we're going to set the border what to none. Set the border to none. Let's save this and see what is going to happen to this. So go ahead and reload this. And then once I'm over, you see what is happening. I still have the outline, but the border is not there. In order to clear the outline, we'll go back and then say that outline none. So let's see going to say outline we we'll set it to what none as well but i will set the outline also to none when we go ahead and save this and reload this in our browser and go back you can see now if you click you can start typing with our outline so this is how to create animated search bar using html and css live for more of my tech videos it related it tips and tricks right here on this channel so till i come away again remember to always visit my channel comment at the comment section and let's get interactive. Bye-bye.